Chris Player that this is a terrible matchup. It is very hard to approach him. The only way you could really approach him is if you get underneath them and you look for a fire grenade trade just like that. Fortunately for GT Yoshi's team, he can kill Zero pretty easily. As I said before, these two played a very long match, very long set. About 50 games or so, and it was only separated by one or two games. So they're very, very familiar with each other. Oh, the overhead. Optimal combos. Oh, he wanted to TAC right there because the combo looks a little bit wonky right there as it was switching sides for Spencer. See what sort of defense he has with Chris on the incoming. Looking not so bad for GC Yoshi. Theoretically, GC Yoshi does want level 3 <laughs> Sentinel. He lives for that. Not gonna kill Chris, because Chris has big boy health. I was gonna say, he could have double triggered, got something, but I believe X Factor just ran out a little bit too early. GC Yoshi will have. Four bars to work with and an X Factor robot. Mr. Destructoid. Oh, oh tries no, to back tries H him. To back H him. Right out the X Factor. Not necessary. Kill him. Oh, wow. There was that small dead zone where the Raw S didn't hit. Right in front of the robot's face. Literally in his face. The Raw S would have hit. Anywhere else it would have hit. The Mark kind of. Martin Slowly out right taking there. out NorCal, man. Already took out Falcomus. Gonna take out one of the MC boys. Again, Zero looks like he's not gonna be able to play. If I were him, I would get Spencer in. There you go. At least with Spencer, you'll have the bionic arm. But he has no bar. No bar. Okay. But he does have frame drops. <laughs> That's true. Chris kind of. That's Chris, definitely a bad matchup. Yeah. Virgil versus Chris. Virgil versus Chris. Oh, it doesn't go for the. Uh, oh, but I already used the ground bounce. Oh, never mind. Ready for this? Then he can call. Oh, he already used drones. He's gonna kill anyway. Oh. Yeah, that unscaled. That unscaled super. Wow. Yes. Comes in with jump. Jump on falling H. Ah, that fire. Oh, no. He mistimed it right there. This time the mine. He did a little bit earlier, a little bit later, that the mine would have traded and uh, Chris could have got a trade. Earl Boros. He sees and survived this. Oh, did, see that? That was sick. Did a little double, uh, double jump right there. Didn't go for the teleport. Got mixed up. No X Factor Strider. I personally think Sentinel Beast Strider, believe it or not. I, I, that's and that was a bad opinion. X Factor. That was a bad X Factor, yeah. The reason why I think Sentinel beats Strider is because if he reads a Teleport or a Vajra, he can just eat it up with like a Sand M or something. Yeah. Or Sand Light, right? Sand Light. Sand, sand Light or, or Crouching M. Or even Ryus. <laughs> yes! That was so sick! He flew all the way across the screen to get the cross-up Jump Light. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't Tied know. it up 1-1. <laughs> Back it up 1-1. One, one. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. That was sick. Like, how far is he going to let him let him fly around? <laughs> Should be a dead Chris. It's going to take a little bit longer because Chris has a lot of health. So Chris not going to play. Oh. oh, how many times have we seen that hit? We've seen that mix up at least at least five times today. I'm gonna go home and make a montage of that mix up. Like, say nobody should ever get hit by this ever again. Well, the thing that does beat that mix up is if you have a good crouching mass, crouching light. So That's so risky though, because if you miss time it, you know? it, it is risky, but it does beat teleport. All right. Who does he have anchor? I don't like that. I mean, I like he could have. Had the drone hit and then rock punch. Oh! oh! What are you doing? <laughs> Robot, please! Oh! He's gonna get Armor Piercer is three frames at point blank range. Oh, that sucks. But he misses it! Oh, no. I would have just waited out the X Factor and now he's gonna worry about Ouroboros. 
Gotta worry about it. That's a healthy amount of X-Factor. However, Spencer does have one Bionic Arm. He makes one good read. And he, he does use Orboros. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Martin goes up to one. Quick rematch. Oh, wow. Yeah, Chris is, Chris is very vulnerable. Super jump and normal jump height. I don't know what GC Yoshi thought was going to save him right there. Oh! oh. Don't flames. All right, this could be GC Yoshi's match right here. Oh, back. Back. Flames. Back. Lots of meter, lots of damage. Much meter, much damage. Wow. Don't ever say that again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just, just came to my mind. <laughs> oh, oh! We got him with the cross up boulder punch. That has been new tech as of late for Chris players. The, the, the two Chris players in America, but it's one of those new discoveries. And it pays off dividends because he gets rid of Virgil. Yoshi's looking really good to keep this set alive. Oh, oh. does it cancel it with the... Does uh, it cancel with the armor pierce? Yeah. I ran my... Oh. I would have hard to... I would have hard tagged Chris out. Block all... Taking all the damage right there and hopefully I survive. Oh, he's trying to do that little uh, double yeah, hop mix-up again. Yeah. Didn't fall for it. Just runs out of X-Factor. I have a feeling he just ate that mix-up. Did he catch him? Did he cross him up? Oh, he didn't cross him up. Or he blocked directly. Just gets out of the situation. This is still pretty decent for uh, Sentinel. Pretty decent for... Strider I don't like that X-Factor, but it's okay. okay. I was going to say, oh. even with uh, S from Sentinel, that's still kind of a scary situation with Strider coming down. Again? Oh, oh to do it again. I thought I was going to do it again. <laughs> Good block. Oh, he might be able to kill. He might be able to kill. Yes, you'll be able to kill if he gets the satellite. No! He, he didn't have confidence. He didn't have confidence. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. yeah. GC Yoshi gets sent to losers by Marn. Marn moves on in winner's bracket.